Hello everyone, this is David, and today I'm going to be reacting to Cimarelli, Carol of the Bells. Two versions, one from 11 years ago and a more recent one from three years ago. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, you can tell that this is an earlier video of them. Like, I think this is probably the oldest video of theirs I've seen. I've seen some older ones, but like, uh, you can tell that this is much earlier in their careers because they have gotten a lot better than, since then. Now, that's not completely fair to say because this is a live performance, or at, at the very least, a live rehearsal. And, uh, you know, because of that, I mean, like, let's, let's just be honest, live performances never sound as good as, like, you know, a recording. <laughs> and here's why. Because recordings are often enhanced in some way or another in post-production. So, because of that, you know, Obviously, it's going to sound better because, you know, they'll they'll mix one element louder here. They'll clean up another element here. They'll clean up over here, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Also, with live performances, you have to deal with nerves. And nerves, you know, they can wreak havoc on your vocals. Ner and nerves affect the best of us. I mean, uh, 
Look at Adele and Beyonce. Both of them have, I, I've seen them in interviews in the past that say that they're like literally a nervous wreck right before they go on and while even while they're performing. But something takes over them while they're performing. And, you know, that one's out. But, you know, even then, even when you're winning the war over your nerves, your nerves can still affect your vocals. It might just be in more subtle ways that, like, you know, non-musical people in the audience might not understand. Like, they'll just be like, oh, yeah, it sounds fine. But, yeah. Oh, and another thing. Like, a recording of a live show will always sound worse than when you're in the audience of that live show. That's another thing, too. So, like, when you're in the audience of the live show, you don't, you might not necessarily hear all the things that are wrong with the performance that you would hear of a recording of that live show. The recording of a live show, if it hasn't been, you know, messed with at all, you'll be able to hear everything you've done wrong. Literally everything you've done wrong. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, let me tell you, even the best performers in the world, they're gonna, even they sound bad at some of their shows. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, uh, it, it just happens. That is, that's part of music. Any type of musical performance, that's just part of it. And uh, I thought, especially for how young they were here, because I think this was like, what, 11, 12 years ago? That's what it said. I don't remember exactly when it landed. Well, let's see. Let's see when. Okay. Okay, so I don't see a date, but when I was looking up the video on YouTube, it said it was about 11 years ago. So with in YouTube language, that probably means about 12 years ago. <laughs> Between 11 and 12 years ago. Somewhere around there. You know, with YouTube, it's kind of a range. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. For back then, this was very good. And... And they're playing all playing instruments. Um, you know, Christina was on the the keyboards there. There was um, Amy on the guitar. Um, this is I think this is one of their brothers. I I I forget their brothers' names. That's on guitar as well. Kath on the on the bass guitar. She sounded good at the beginning too, by the way. A little rushed, but you know, that's gonna happen too. Let me tell you, I, I rush all the time. <laughs> if I get excited, I rush. Then I couldn't tell who was at the drums and on the keyboards on this side because, let's be honest, the camera work was not good. <laughs> and uh, they look kind of different when they're when they're young like this. But anyways, well, let's ho go on to the newer version. Obviously, this is, you know, a previously recorded one, so... It's going to sound obviously better than this. Once again, for the reasons I stated earlier. Cheer from everywhere, will in the air. Oh, holy ball, hands in the sun. Oh, hear the ding dong, little tone. Hey, we're 
well done. See, you can see the difference that, you know, eight years makes. Well, eight years and, you know, post-production, like uh, fiddling with with the audio and stuff as well. But yeah. here's another thing about this song. This song is very difficult because it's a very wordy song. I pretty much don't know any of the words to this song. Which is why I would like, you know, hum along or to this instead of sing along. Na 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 na. You know, that kind of stuff. I'm not going to sing because I just don't know the words. There's a lot of words. Wordy songs can be really difficult. That's why I say those people who are very good at wordy songs, they have a better chance of being a better rapper than other people. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, those singers who are very good at wordy songs, they have a better chance at being a better rapper than, say, a singer who's not good at them. But then what do I know? Because I can't rap. I have no flow. <laughs> so, I could be wrong about that. But anyways, very well done. Mm, beautiful harmonies. As always, from Cimarelli, um... Obviously, since this was from three years ago, Danny is still with the group. Um, I, lo I like when they have Danny in the group because, you know, it, she fills out their sound. There's no one else in the group that sounds like Danny. Because, you know, there's a few people, there's a couple people in the group that have similar, you know, tones and timbres to their voices. Like, most of the time, you could say that Amy and Elisa sound a bit similar. Not really, but sort of. Like, um, where they, where their tone really starts to differ, um, Amy and Lisa, is when they go high. Lisa has much more of a sharp tone. Not, not sharp as in, like, you know, she's going over a note. I mean, sharp as in, it's a sharp sound. If you know what I'm saying. Like, she, she has um, a sharper, bit more of an ear-piercing sound than when Amy goes high. Amy's is a bit, you know, sweeter when she goes high. That's partially why I like Amy's high notes better than um, Lisa's high notes. I know lots of people are going to be like, what are you talking about in the comments? But that's just me. I also like Lauren's high notes better than um, Lisa's. That's mostly because I just like Lauren's voice better than Lisa's. <laughs> She's got a very interesting tone to her voice. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, um, her and Lauren and um, Danny, I think, have the most... Un well, her, Danny, and um, Kathy, Catherine, they have the most unique tones in the group. I realize I just listed half of them, but, you know, I'm just saying. And it's, and each of them have a unique tone for a different reason. Like, each of them is unique in their own way. So, you know, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love Lisa. I do. I just think people go a little too crazy over her high notes. I'm just like, eh. It's very good. It's very good. Don't get me wrong. I just think. Other people in the group do it better. Just because she does it louder than they do doesn't mean it's better. <laughs> I will say this. She does have a more full full tone to her voice when she sings those high notes. That's where she gets them. But, you know, I like the way the other's high notes sound better. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, Carol of the Bells, though. Very good. Bo very good from Cimarelli, as always. Obviously, this was a music video, so, you know, a music video is going to be way, way more produced than, like, a live performance. That wasn't even a live performance, I don't think. That was more like a live rehearsal. That's what it feel, felt like to me. It felt like, you know, like, close family and friends watching the rehearsal, seeing how they're doing. Like, you know, they're still working out the kinks during rehearsal, so, you know... It's not going to sound as good as on the day of the concert. At least that's the hope. <laughs> and with them, yeah. 
So, you know, with a live rehearsal, because that's what it sounds like to me. It's, it sounds like a live rehearsal because there's it with with the, the sound of the applause. It didn't sound that loud to me. So, you know, with that applause, it just makes me feel like there's not that many people in the auditorium. It's, you know, half full at the most, most likely quarter full or less. And it's pretty much all, you know, family and friends just watching a rehearsal of theirs, you know, giving their insights afterwards, that kind of thing. That's what the the first video felt like to me. Now, the fact that this video was so short, I wish it was longer. But yeah. Anyways, um, I think I've talked enough for today, so I'm going to end it here. And thanks for watching, guys.